happened. And we're just a few seconds away from the countdown clock picking up the count at T-minus nine minutes. Four, three, two, one. And we are at T-minus nine minutes and counting. And the ground launch sequencer has been initiated. And NASA test director John Guidi is about to call for the transmittal of stored pre-launch commands. As Endeavour is only nine minutes away from launch on another in a series of missions to the Mir space station. On this flight, we will retrieve astronaut Dave Wolf, who has been in space now for the past four months. And we will leave Andy Thomas aboard Mir. He will be the seventh and final U.S. astronaut to call the station home. OTC, configure fuel cell essential bus door switches. DLT, DLT, DLT. And pilot Joe Edwards is now flipping switches in the cockpit to directly connect the three fuel cells to the essential power buses. T minus eight minutes and counting. And we're standing by for the orbiter access arm to be retracted. Uh, this is the walkway used by the crew to gain entry into and out of the vehicle. TLS is go for OAA retract. And we have orbiter access arm now being retracted away from the vehicle. Uh, this uh, arm can be returned to position within seconds if need be. PSOTC, start AP's trip chart recorder. Trip charts are running. PLT OTC, perform AP pre-start. And the orbiter test conductor. The AP pre-starts and work. Roberto Wyrick has given pilot Joe Edwards the go-ahead to perform the auxiliary power unit pre-start procedures. T-minus six minutes and counting. OTC, PLT, AP pre-starts complete with three gray dot nuts. Good out. APU activation will come in just a few seconds from now. T minus five minutes, 30 seconds and counting.
T-minus five minutes. APU start. And we have a go for APU start. APU start. And PLT, it's in work. CDR, reconfigure heater. Heater, reconfigure, it's in work. Main fuel valve heaters on the three shuttle main engines have been turned on in preparation for launch tonight. OTC PLT, APU starts complete with three good APUs. Thank you. And the pilot reports that we have three good APUs. It's complete. Happy. T minus four minutes and counting. Let's go for part sequence four. A final test of the flight control systems will be conducted shortly. This is a program pattern of movements designed to verify the readiness for launch of the engines and other flight control services. And final air surface checks of the orbiter's alevons as well as the rudder are being completed at this time. And this verifies the orbiter's hydraulic systems. And the three main engines are being gimbaled for a final test before launch. Again, all is going well for tonight's launch. This mission carries a crew of seven who will spend the next nine days in space. Five of those days docked with the Mir space station. T minus three minutes and counting. Tonight's launch should be visible to most of the southeastern coastal regions of the United States. For EP LO2 pressurization. TLT OTC, clear caution and warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. And it worked. And we're standing by for the retraction of the gaseous oxygen vent hood away from the external tank, and it is being retracted at this time. Inside the bronze color tank is about 500,000 gallons of super cold liquid fuels that run on the orbiter's three main engines. Copy that. Flight crew, OTC, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. We begin 98, sending our last astronaut for his stay on Mir. We're going to howl for the Wolfman. Uh, that did work. We'll see it in a few days. T minus two minutes and counting. Yeah, let's go for ET LHT pressurization. And all systems are go. Endeavor is about 90 seconds now from beginning its nine day mission to dock with Russia's Mir space station. T minus 90 seconds. T-minus one minute and counting, and everything is still looking good for launch of Shuttle Endeavour from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And we are transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Endeavour is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start in about 10 seconds. Start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Endeavour's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. 15. T minus 13 seconds. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. We have a go for main engine start. 4. 3. 2. 1. 
We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavour, continuing the union of U.S. and Russian space endeavors. Booster Endeavour, roll program. Roger, roll Endeavour. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Endeavour is now in a heads down, wings level position, headed to a rendezvous with the Mir space station. Endeavour now traveling at about 520 miles per hour. Endeavour's engines are now throttling down to 67% of rated thrust. Endeavour is now passing through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. Downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 2.3 miles, traveling at a speed of just about 870 miles per hour. Endeavour Houston, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. One minute, 19 seconds into the flight, Endeavour's three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. Endeavour downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, a distance of about 10 and a half miles, traveling at the speed of about 2,000 miles per hour. Just about seven minutes of powered flight remaining. Two minutes, nine seconds into the flight, the booster officer confirms good separation of the solid rocket boosters. Endeavour now downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at a distance of about 38 miles. Houston, performance nominal. Copy, performance nominal. Endeavour Houston, two-engine tau. Uh, copy, Susan, two-engine tau. Two minutes, 35 seconds into the flight, Endeavour's performance has been as expected, and in the event of a single engine failure, Endeavour could now reach the transatlantic landing site at Zaragoza, Spain. Telemetry still continuing to indicate that all three main engines and auxiliary power units and fuel cells are performing well. Three and a half minutes into powered flight with just about five minutes of powered flight remaining. Endeavour now at an altitude of about 58 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at a distance of about 115 miles. Speed now about 5,000 miles per hour. Endeavour Houston, negative return.